Hey everybody, welcome to Burra Tech. In this episode, I'm gonna give you my review of iOS 13's dark mode. All right, welcome back. Before we start this video, I wanna make sure that you like and subscribe. And if you really like this video, please share it. Also, you can take a look at the digital products down below because this channel doesn't do a Patreon. Instead, every dollar that we get from the products that you buy below goes into making more content. So let's talk a little bit about iOS 13's dark mode. Now, if you don't know, iOS comes out every year and every year there's some really cool new updates. Now this year, the update is dark mode and while iOS 13 is really awesome, I wanna talk a little bit about why I like dark mode so much and why it's so important. So first of all, when you actually update your iPhone, sometimes the update can be quite jarring. In fact, in the past, sometimes you'd update to the new iOS version, and that version would be quite different from the previous version, causing you to be a little bit frustrated for maybe a few days. iOS 13 is not like that. Everything is easier to use, and I really like the improvements that they made. Again, my favorite one is dark mode. One of the things that I don't like is having a bright screen in front of my face all day long. As a coder, I am always in front of a screen, and oftentimes I don't need to be in front of a screen in my spare time. I like putting my phone down and going and doing something else. So when I am on my screen in my spare time and just when I'm not on the computer, I don't want my phone to be really bright. Hence, dark mode was created. Everything about dark mode is awesome because again, I don't want to look at a really bright screen all the time. All the apps that Apple comes with now have this dark mode, like using the email or Safari, and I really like the touch that dark mode gives. So one of my favorite things to do is to turn my phone into grayscale. Now you can actually do this on an iOS device quite easily. Why would you turn your phone into grayscale in the first place? Didn't you buy this really expensive phone to have extremely vibrant colors? It turns out that having these really vibrant colors makes you more into your phone than you should be. In fact, I used to have my phone in grayscale all the time. The reason is, is that I didn't want to use my phone as much in my spare time. I love having a phone and it's necessary for modern life, but at the same time, I don't want to be really addicted to it. So what I did is I turned my phone into grayscale, but the problem with grayscale is that you're still turning your white phone into gray, which makes it still less appealing, but it could be even less appealing. So now, grayscale and dark mode make your phone really easy to look at. In fact, I love putting my phone into grayscale, and the only time that I'm not using my phone in grayscale is when I'm watching a video on my phone. And most of the time, I'm not even watching a video on my phone because I'm usually watching it on a different device. So I think dark mode and grayscale is probably one of the best productivity hacks that you can do. So let me know in the comments if you like iOS 13 and if you like using iOS 13 with grayscale. Has it helped you use your phone less? I would like to know your thoughts. So that concludes this video. Again, thanks for listening. Please buy our products down below because this channel doesn't do a Patreon. Every dollar that we get from the products that you buy down below goes into making more content. Be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in another video.